in recent time, there's become this growing disparity between the electorate and the elected. We don't talk the same, we don't really look the same, and if I'm honest, there's becoming this kind of Dora the Explorer-like searching mission to find any similarities between us. In Commons at the minute, there's this Westminsterial stereotype of the same pristinely educated, male-dominated lack of reflection towards the fabric of society. I don't intend to stereotype at all, as I've, I know, of course, not all politicians are privately educated, with some coming from accredited catchment area comprehensives, but because they all speak in this same level of rhetoric, we see them in the same light. It's almost like there's this 650 shades of the same unappealing, uninviting, unrepresentative grey, and though they may be splashed with different colours, because they speak the same level of rhetoric and articulate in the same manner, we see them in the same light. That's why in the recent 2010 general election, only 44% of 18-24s turned out to vote, in comparison to 73% of over 55s. My generation, the growing society, we're much more used to attaining our information, statistics and opinions in bite-sized morsels of relevant text, two-minute vlogs or a short tweet, just to sum up what we need to know. In comparison to this regurgitated level of rhetoric that politicians have peddled out over the past 20 to 30 years, and it seems like they all speak in this same manner. That's why I feel that, that my generation and the growing society, we're going to be the ones that are going to change this political, political paradigm and edit it to our needs, because I feel like there needs to be a change. Soon enough, we'll be the ones to make up, make up the government, make up the votes, and soon enough, it'll be our turn to make up the numbers. So, on that basis, it's our turn to stand up and be counted.